Welcome to The Developer Show. I'm Wem Leeler, and we're here in Los Angeles at DartConf, and we're talking to Leif Peterson. Thanks. So I work on uh, the Dart language. I'm a developer on the Dart team, and I work on a combination of things. So I do a lot of work on, on tooling, but uh, these days what I'm mostly working on is the language itself and thinking about how the language and the tools can work together to try and provide the best experience possible to our developers and therefore to our end users. So what I'm hearing here is that Dart hits the sweet spot between dynamic and static languages. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Uh, I do think that's a strength of Dart, um, is that the, the type system in Dart incorporates both a notion, a notion of dynamic typing and uh, a very nice strong static type system. So you can write your code uh, in a way that is, so you can use code in a, in a very dynamic way and do a sort of a duck typing like code. You can call arbitrary methods uh, on dynamically typed things um, and it will just try to do what it can. Or you can write your code in a very tightly statically typed way and get very strong error checking and very good refactoring and good help from all of the, uh, the IDEs and the tooling. So what about development cycles? How will developers be using Dart? Yeah, so one of the nice things about Dart, I think, is that it provides uh, some of the best of both worlds of languages like JavaScript and uh, Java that are JIT compiled and so provide you a very um, sort of fast turnaround with languages that are ahead of time compiled uh, that give you very fast startup and fast native performance. So Dart supports both of those modes on both the web and uh, on native. So we have a fast developer cycle in both places where you get very fast turnaround. You make a change to your code and boom, things are right back up. But then when it comes time to ship, you get a, a really aggressive compiler that goes off and does a lot of chewing on your code and spits out something that starts up really fast and then executes very quickly. So can you talk a little bit about the future of Dart? Yeah. So. Uh, there's a lot of things that we want to push on in Dart. We want to keep making it uh, faster. We want to make startup faster. We want to make execution faster. We want to, uh, while well, keeping all of these dev cycle benefits that we have. But we also uh, want to add things to the language that make developers more productive. And in particular, developers more productive writing the kind of client-side UI code uh, that we see them writing all of the time. So we're very interested in looking at ways to reduce the overhead um, of the syntax when you're doing something like writing a Flutter application or an Angular application. Thank you, Leif. This has been fascinating. And thank you for watching.